welcome back to the channel everybody little uh, drum intro so definitely means I have to do a drum roll later today um, but um, one of you guys an awesome subscriber sent me some really good powders pigments color shift this is like automotive color shift powder and it is some serious stuff um, so I cannot thank you enough um, if you want to check some of this stuff out just uh, do a search for automotive color shift pigment and uh, there's a lot of that out there um, I also use stuff from uh, solar dust and uh, and then some lady on Etsy um, great color shift stuff so um, yeah with that said welcome to color shift mania we're gonna be using all these new powders and we're gonna have a great time doing it so we're about to make a lot of cool stuff and I hope you will join all right so today we're gonna be um, running lots of swim baits and then we're gonna do some jerk baits as well um, because I mean what better baits to use color shift in so we're gonna be using some dead-on plastic craw tube blend for our big swim baits um, we will also be using uh, swim bait blend for the jerk baits um, and then we're gonna be using let's see if I can uh, zoom out here we're gonna be using these molds here so in the back we have the angling AI six inch hand pour over here I have some of my old BTS molds over there we're just gonna run as much as we can and then last but not least we have the uh, stank X bait rocket mold and yesterday I already made a few of these that's with some of the new color shift right there so we're gonna kind of duplicate this um, and kind of show you what the plastic looks like and, and which powders um, I used so I think it's gonna be fun and uh, yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy the show okay so here we go so we have our belly color over here I'm going to use some leftover red pearl that I have for the lines and then here's our top so for the bottom we're using this ZGA I don't know what that stands for all I know is this is probably my favorite color shift I have yet to see um, the the green hues that you get out of this is just simply insane Let's see if we can kind of it's it's just so hard to see this stuff on camera but here we go so we're not going to use a whole lot of it because honestly you ain't got to and then for the top color we're going to be using this so I mean just just look at that so you you can't even count the colors in it CTB P? Yeah, okay, sorry. I know I can read. I just wasn't looking at it right then and there. So, a little bit of this. Oh, God, that was a lot. And you guys know how expensive color shift is. And uh, I think these are five gram bags each. So, thank you for hooking me up. Um, all right, so, gonna stir that one in. Oh, my God, already. It's just so dang pretty. I mean, fellas out there, have you ever seen something so pretty? Now, if you're married or dating, you know, uh, you probably want to say that your wife is prettier or your girlfriend. But if you're single and you tell me that this is not the prettiest thing you've ever seen, you're lying. Let's get a little closer here. Yeah. I really want to try to get this stuff here on the left to really come across. I mean, look at that. It's almost like a, a green highlighter. There's there's a hologram effect to it. So not only is it color shift, but but it's it's almost holographic color shift. Um, honestly, it is honestly too good to be true. So between this and that stuff I get from uh, Color Craze off Etsy, I'm a happy camper. Okay, and here we go. There it is right there. It's a lot like some of the chameleon stuff I get from Solar Dust. Um, it's just, to me, a lot more vibrant. Um, there's just some, some things going on here that I have not seen with the uh, stuff from Solar Dust. 
Now I haven't used a ton of different things from Solar Dust, um, so they may have some things in their catalog uh, on this level. And in fact, I have no doubt that they would. But this stuff right here is pretty cray. Why did I just say cray? I mean, look at that. That is insane. You just pour the whole bait solid with that and you're good. You don't even, you don't even have to be good at this. Just mix it up and your baits are going to look great. All right, y'all remember this thing? Yep. We are pouring in silicone. So I've got to melt, um, melt these layers here and then pour the uh, vein. So I'll just show you one of them real quick. And uh, then after that, I'll go ahead and pour the other ones off camera. And then we'll kind of move, move along with it. But you just want to tack up those layers really good. That way you uh, don't get cold cracks or, or things like that. So, and, uh, and, and more important than cold cracks, so that your bait doesn't delaminate. So yeah, there we go. You want it to just kind of go right over that back end there. Yeah, that one right there turned out perfect because it's it's over the back. Well, just about over the back. I might hit that with the heat gun to smooth that over. But up front, it didn't go too far. So, um, with in any event, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that to where that kind of melts down a little better. And um, yeah, and then we'll kind of go from there. All right, and so now we're pouring the top layer. So I already have one of them poured. So I really want to heat it up well in the head. You can see the heat gun does a little number on the molds. So you want to try to keep these, um, want to try to keep your molds lubricated with um, a silicone uh, conditioner. But you know, the more you use a heat gun, the more uh, you will kind of harm the mold over time. But we just want to tack up these layers really, really, really well. That way we get a nice clean bond and no delamination. The part you really want to get is the head because that's where you're going to be rigging a, a hook through or a spring lock or anything like that. And uh, that's where you're most likely to have uh, delamination problems is, is the head of the beast. So we're going to start down here in the tail, kind of work our way up a little bit. And then just like the other molds, just pour it from the top, let the tail fill up. Beautiful. Looks about right. Maybe even slightly over poured. It just my table leans just so slightly down. Um, and uh, open pours will always let you know if your table is even or not. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and do the next one. And, uh, and then we're done with the rocket molds. Then we'll probably move move on to some jerk baits, have some fun with some with some uh, jerk baits and some other color shift, and um, and then go from there. So I'm thinking I might try some worms too, just just to see. I've never made any kind of worm with color shift pigment, but this is color shift mania. So we're gonna do crazy things um, for color shift mania. That is for sure. So. Well, heck, I might as well just do this one now on camera. So, yep. Looking good. Z1 Elts always have a problem where they mix up way too much. It's like, I have so much of that left. And I mixed that up with these three molds in mind. You know what? I'm just going to grab... I'm just going to grab one of these aluminum molds. Not even going to clamp it. I'm just gonna pour it, see what happens. Probably get a ton of cold cracks, but I don't care. Just kinda wanna see what it looks like in this bait. <laughs> so. Yeah, buddy. This is cool. Looks like the cleanest pour I ever did. Check that out. That is dirty. It's like there, there's even like a, a greenish flavor to it at, at some extreme angles. Man, is it time for some new gloves or what? I'm tired of getting burned right there and right there. 
These gloves have been, you know what? These are the first gloves I ever bought uh, when I started bait making like eight years ago. So I'd say I got my $35 worth. Okay, so there is our swim bait plastic all cooked up. And so we're gonna, we're gonna make some jerk baits now. So this stuff, ZTF, it's like a green, gold, copper, I don't even know what you call that. That's gonna be the top side. So we're gonna do a laminate um, jerk bait here. So we're gonna use that for the top. Again, you don't wanna use too much of this. We're gonna see what that does. And then for the bottom, we're gonna use that green stuff again. ZGA, because I cannot get enough of that. It's like the perfect little green bottom. Um, I have some stuff from Solar Dust that is a lot like this, but it's a but it's sort of a pink, pinkish hue to it that that I absolutely love as well. So anyway, we're gonna use that for the bottom. Maybe a smidge more. All right, let's just kind of see what happens. Yes, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, got a lot more mixing to do, however. Yeah, there's there's like some purples in it. Definitely browns, golds. Yeah, that'll look neat. This will. I don't really know what this color looks like in terms of like actual forage and bait fish, but I guess it doesn't matter. This is color shift mania. There are no rules. All right, let's give this a shot. I'm excited. I think this is going to look dirty, but in a good way. So, top side on the left side for this mold. Okay. This is the Angling AI 5-inch jerk bait. Oh my god, that is absolutely gorgeous. Yep. These are going to be cool. I've got a feeling. Some people call this a fluke bait. You can call it a jerk bait, fluke bait, fork tail shad, whatever you want to say. All right. I've even heard them called jerk shads. Jerk shad. I've heard certain worms referred to as jerk worms. Does anybody know what a jerk worm is? I'm in love. I may never use regular pigments again. All right, and now for the fun part. Let's get some baits demolded. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, get that off. But yeah, just, just look at that green bottom there. I think it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. The way it also interacts with the other colors. Really, really pretty. I actually over poured this one slightly. You can see I'll have to uh, clean up that tail. But really, really pretty. So let's see. Get this one out. Yeah. What do y'all think? I definitely think it's a winner. I love the way a trout uh, laminate looks in this particular mold. So, yeah, we're going to set those aside and then we'll uh, look at the jerk baits. I also, uh, using the jerk bait plastic, I poured a few of these little teeny tiny swim baits. Um, I just kind of threw it all in there. So, we'll see what those look like. All right, let's take a look at these real quick. This is a tough mold to pour because it is teeny tiny. Hey, yeah, that's pretty cool. I kind of did a laminate, but then it kind of mixed together. Yeah, that's actually not half bad. Let's see, let's get this one out. Eh. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, drum roll, please. Do a single stroke roll. Alright, got a 
couple cover your doubles and singles oh my god oh major dent fail on that one disregard let's see what we have guys look at that have you ever seen jerk baits like that I'm not saying these are the best but I've never seen one that looked like that oh oh man going in the bath got to get these other ones out here that one right there sucks We'll put that one to the side. Let's uh, get get the next ones out here. Cause I got to see these babies. Oh yeah, these look like they did a little bit better. Oh, holy cow! Wow, they're just holy crap. Yeah, that's my new favorite flute color right there. That's pretty much all I'm going to ever make again. So, if you're tired of seeing these, just don't watch any more videos because I'm probably not going to make any other colors because this is it. Like, does it really get better? Can I, can, can one top this color shift stuff? Yeah, golly. That is absolutely it. Oh man, color shift mania was a great idea. All right, on to the next ones though. Still more to come. And last but not least, I took the rest of that um, stuff and poured a big bape out of it. This is the Stink X Baits Bape Mold. <laughs> yeah, check that out. Yeah, pretty cool, lovely color. Just wanted to see what it would look like in this. This, uh, this is a little bit too soft of a blend of plastic for a bait of this size, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, just wanted to see what it looked like in the, in the Mondo swim bait. Okay, so there's a site. We have a ton of stuff laid out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use some more color shift, obviously. Um, I haven't used this one yet. Um, so I might get some of the color shifts that I already have as well and just play around with a bunch of stuff. Um, we're about to run a, a lot of baits and I'm really super duper excited. All right, so here we go. We're gonna be pouring a lot of stuff. So I'm just gonna start over here, pour some bellies on these uh, BTS molds. Yeah. I don't know if I have enough of this bottom color, but hopefully I do. I mixed up quite a bit. I mean, this just makes the perfect bottom color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this green stuff as the belly color, obviously. Um, the vein in the center is gonna be that last kind of purplish color shift that we haven't used yet. And then the top is gonna to be that maroon uh, kind of copper one from the, um, from, from the jerkbait color. Cause that I think would look really, really, really great. All right. Yeah, I think we'll have enough. So anyway, gonna go ahead and uh, cut camera here and uh, we'll meet you back when we're uh, mixing up our veins. All right, and now we're gonna mix up some ZTX for the veins here. Excited to see how this one looks because I have not used it yet. So we're just going to start with a little bit. This one seems to be much more purple, but these things can fool you. Yes, that's very purple. Okay, didn't fool me that time, but I'm sure there's a lot of other shifty colors in there. Yeah, that's going to look cool. Definitely think that's going to be a good vein. All right, so we've got some veins poured, so I'm just going to show you um, kind of the final four here. So I'm just gonna oh, pour a little too much. I was watching the camera, not what I was doing. Oops. Some of the uh, BTS molds that I have up there, I don't pour those as often anymore. So a few of them I over poured the vein and it's, it's probably gonna spill into the tail a little bit, but that can actually look pretty cool in its own right. So. I'm just going to kind of let that flow. Hopefully it reaches where it's supposed to reach. 
and kind of last but not least so uh, yeah anyway there is what we have so I'll kind of do a overhead pan there yeah and now we're gonna mix up that top color and uh, finish these out all right and last but not least we're getting back out that stuff right there and we're gonna mix up our top layer if I can get this baggie open here we go oh all right that's probably not enough but we'll try that first this is a lot more plastic than I mixed up before with the jerk baits so it probably require a little bit more but doing it see-through as you guys know is you know what I'm just gonna go with that I like that you'll be able to see through it a little bit actually a lot probably yeah I think that's about right we're not adding any more we're gonna go with that and uh, start pouring the top layers all right we're pouring our tops so I have the BTS molds there in the back done so now we're gonna pour the uh, AI molds here try to get these done quick for you guys not to mention the cup is burning my finger through the tear in my glove which I need to replace so I need to run to the auto parts store hopefully they're still open some retail stores are shutting down some states are kind of shutting down altogether which is very alarming so but we're gonna pour as many baits as we can while we're uh all stuck at home right that's what we're all doing trying to trying to uh, rely on our hobbies to keep us entertained and busy so pour on you guys pour as much fun stuff as you can Ooh. so anyway gonna finish these out these are gonna take a while to, to cool off you know the mold time on this is about 15 20 minutes you know just the molds are at 330 degrees approximately so dang you know I may run out of this top color oops I've never poured all of these at once like this actually you know what I may have one time I may have one time but yeah I just ooh, golly it's gonna be close you guys can we do it can we do it yes I think we can do it yeah, I think we're going to have, yep, we're going to have enough. Wow, that's close. Poured that one sloppy as hell. But she's full. Yeah, you know, that's not bad. So considering all these baits, I measured it out dang near perfect. I took that right down to the wire. And my son Landon is walking outside. My wife should be with him. All right, so now it is time to put on some eyeballs here. So we're gonna start with the uh, rocket molds. So, let's see what we've got going on here. Eh, come on. There we go. And these uh, custom logo eyes are from Dead Meat Customs. He makes some insane eyeballs. Like the, oh my God, that's crooked. Hold that thought. That's better. Boom. Much better. And now for the inverse. Let's do the other side. So yeah, we're going to eyeball these up. And uh, I think they'll look good. So, And then I also had some from the other day. I had already broken into this color shift stuff and made this exact color. And I wanted to uh, show it on film. So... There it is. And real quick, I just wanted to take a look at these uh, jerk baits again. They are just absolutely lovely. I actually already posted a video, short clip of these uh, on Instagram. So you may have already seen this, but uh, this should be much, much better footage of it right there. Okay, let's break one of these open. So we'll start with this one here. Yeah. And kind of like I was just 
kind of like I was thinking, you really can't even see the, uh, the, the line necessarily. Now this particular mold, the scale pattern, the scaling pattern is so like coarse and aggressive that it actually kind of masks your lines a little bit. Even if you pour like a perfectly straight line, sometimes um, the scaling pattern will kind of play tricks on you. So we might see the lines a little bit better on the Angling AI mold. So now we're gonna grab one of these. Good Lord, that is hot. Woo! Yeah, yeah the, line, the line's definitely a little bit more visible. You can kind of see that pink purple line. Holy crap, that is hot. All right. So let's get it out. Because the, the bait won't be hot, but the mold will be. Yeah. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there, that purple line. So really, really cool. Awesome colors. I like the way that color shift, it, it, it kind of hides that line a little bit. So, yep, ouch. I can't even hold the, uh, can't even hold the slot there. Ouch. All right, well, we're going to get some more of these out and then lay them all out. And uh, then we'll take a look at what we've got. Okay, so I have these middle two eyeballed. Yeah. So, really, really lovely stuff there. So I'm not gonna put eyeballs on all of these. Um, I'll do that if I am able to uh, sell them. Um, so if there's just something that you see here that you just gotta have, um, holler at me. Um, I'm gonna set these baits aside. Um, still working on uh, sh printing shipping labels. So uh, the winners of the 300 bait giveaway and anyone waiting on baits, my sincerest apologies. Things have just been crazy with this uh, virus. And uh, it's thrown me off my shipping game, but I will get it resolved uh, soon. Okay, and there is what we have. Um, so <clears throat> again, here is that one right there the angling AI mold. So we have the old BTS version as well. So two lovely six inch pours there. Um, we have our trout rockets um, from the silicone Stank X baits. I don't know if it's Stanks or Stank X. I should call Travis and ask him. And then of course we have our jerk baits in the uh, uh, Virtually the same colorway as that over there. Yeah. Oh, bubble. Don't want bubble. Bubble. Yeah, there we go. Still a bubble. Jeez. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. It's like a prism. So, yeah. And then <clears throat> yesterday, the top color of these, I poured a giant bape in it yesterday. Just to kind of see... Uh, what it looked like. So this is actually with the correct plastic, the craw tube blend. So uh, yeah, I guess I guess this one's up for grabs as well. So yeah, there you go. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed. Please shoot me lots of comments down below. Let me know which ones <clears throat> uh, were your favorite. Um, if you make baits at home, definitely give Color Shift a shot. I, I think you'll really like it. It's kind of expensive to get them at first. You know, you're like, why am I spending this much money on this itty bitty amount of powder? But if you just use it in small quantities, you can make it go a long way and you'll get some really good effects. Um, so thank you again to the subscriber who sent these to me. Uh, I hope you're watching. So if you are, thank you so much. And um, yeah, we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching Color Shift Mania.